Hey y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I have a look at the 7th Anniversary Trio that is available right now from Femme Fatale Cosmetics. I'll go ahead and link their storefront down below. These will be available for a pre-order for a short time before they trickle down to your favorite stockist. So these were sent to me for review and I'll go ahead and get right into the swatches. So first up is Aphantasia, and this polish is described as a light, sweetheart pink glow that's filled with magenta chrome shifting flakes, pink iridescent shifting flakes, and silver holographic glitters in various sizes. So if you're somebody who likes to change your polish all the time because you want a different feel on the nail or you just get bored, this may be a perfect polish for you. I think you could totally use utilize this one as a topper if you'd like. It is fairly dense and it does have a super, super strong magenta shimmer, but you could use it over an assortment of colors really. I am going to go ahead and show you how it built up today all on its own. So here's a look at that second coat. Two coats is going to add a ton more glitters and even more of that shimmer. That shimmer goes a long way in helping this one be more opaque more quickly. I think it's really gorgeously done. So here's a look at my third and final coat today. I did kind of just maneuver those flakes towards my tip to really help with that opacity. If you wanted to, you could go in for a fourth coat for sure, but I feel like I didn't need it today for this one. So here's a look at that completed mini. At three coats before a glossy top coat under artificial lighting, you will want to top this off with one coat of your favorite glossy top coat to help even out any glitters or flakes. But here's a quick view from a different angle in direct sunlight with a glossy top coat. This is my final swatch photo again under that same direct sunlight at an angle. So next up is Cerebellum, and I really honestly think that this is my favorite of this trio. So this one is described as a light fairy tale pink linear holographic with a strong golden sheen. This golden shimmer and this nail polish almost has, almost has to be seen to be believed. It is just that amazing, that vibrant, and with absolutely no brush strokes. So here's a look at that first easy coat. It just makes a nice blush of color with a ton of that golden shimmer as well as a good amount of hollow. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it builds up for me with a second coat. Two coats did kind of deepen that finish, but it is still fairly opaque for me. I am going to go ahead and let that dry down and then show you the magic that is the third coat with this one. So here's a look at my third and final coat. It did completely bring this polish opaque with no issues, no brush stroking, nothing like that. I do recommend going in with a one coat of your favorite glossy top coat just to help extend the wear and make this be as shiny and bright on the nail as it can be. So here's a look at that complete and mini at three coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. And then this polish is really going to transform in direct sunlight. All that hollow that's kind of hidden behind that golden shimmer does peek out best in direct lighting. So there's a quick look at that as well as my final swatch photo at an angle in that same direct sunlight. So last up today I have Hypoxia and this polish is described as a swampy green jelly with a luminous pink to green multi-chroma shift. So if you are feeling the multi-chrome vibe I think this polish is going to be perfect for you. Every shift that you see in the bottle is just as vibrant and apparent on the nail. It does start out fairly sheer. If you wanted to use this one as a topper over a darker color, you would get more of the shift a little bit more quickly. I am going to go ahead and show you today how it builds up all on its own. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry down and then show you how it built up for me with a second coat. Two coats, it does deepen that finish. Adds a little bit more of that purple shift towards the nail, but it is a little bit still sheer. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry down and then show you how it built up for me with a third and final coat. This is another one that's kind of on the edge of being a three or four coater, depending on your application. I think, honestly, I would like to use this over a dark, dark purple as a base. But even at three coats, this one is magic, especially under different angles and lighting sources. So three coats, it's pretty much opaque. I'm going to go ahead and show you my completed mini. Again, this is three coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. And you can really see that green shift evident there towards my nail tips. I'm going to go ahead and show you all the shift that this gives me on my nails just from moving my nails underneath my artificial lighting so it goes all the way down to that deep berry purple to a very strong green and this is my final swatch photo at an angle in direct sunlight showing off some more of that purple shimmer and that does wrap up my swatch and review of the seventh anniversary collection again these are available right now from femme fatale cosmetics big huge thank you to them for sending these out and a happy seventh anniversary if you'd like to see more you can follow me on instagram at sloppy swatches so thanks so much for watching guys see you next time